Aisha from Gestures Computers here, and in this video I'm going to show you where you can go on your Windows 10 computer to see how much space you're taking up on your hard drive for pictures, documents, etc. Using this new feature in Windows 10, it is easier than ever to locate files that are taking up a lot of storage space and eliminate them. First, we are going to access settings from your start menu. Start by left clicking on the Windows logo, then press the gear located on the left of your start menu. Once Windows settings appears, choose the first icon labeled System. Now choose Storage from the menu on the left to see the default storage locations. Next, click on your primary storage device, which in most cases will appear as Drive C. A colored graph will appear using the different colors to indicate different types of files. On my computer, as you can see, OneDrive, which is what I use for my primary storage location, is taking up the majority of my computer space. I can also see that documents are taking up 4.26 gigabytes of storage space. If I wanted to see the documents that are taking up that space, I just left click on documents, then click on the view documents button that will appear. If you were to visit the Games and Apps section, which is taking up over 50 gigabytes of storage space on my computer, you will see a list of all installed programs and apps, which is sortable here by name, size, or install date. You can also search for a specific program or app from the top of the list here. If you locate a program or app that you are no longer using and want to remove it, simply left click on the app or the program and then click the uninstall button. The program's uninstaller will launch and within a few clicks the program or app will be removed from your device. Back under the storage list you will also see two additional notable categories which include temporary files and other. When accessing temporary files, you will see how many temporary files are taking up space, as well as items in your recycle bin that haven't been deleted, downloads located in your download folder that are taking up space, and you may also see the option to remove upgrade or unneeded system files from here as well. It is worth noting that while you're able to remove temporary files from this screen, the cleanup that we perform on many of our customers' devices for maintenance includes a much more thorough temporary file scanner, and you're likely to see a much larger number of files removed and space saved from our cleanup service than running the temporary file remover from Windows 10. Lastly, if you visit that other option I mentioned previously, you will find folders that Windows wasn't able to categorize into the other categories and their storage space. By clicking on the folders, you will be able to open them, allowing you to remove the files you no longer want. So I encourage you to take a look at your storage files this weekend and clean up unneeded files. While you're doing this, be sure to take a look at your C drive capacity. As we have mentioned before, Hard drives that have a storage size of 320 gigabytes or 740 gigabytes have a much higher failure rate and it's best to replace your drive before it fails to avoid data loss and needing to reinstall all of your program. This has been a free tip from Jester's Computers. Be sure to like our Facebook page, bookmark our website, and subscribe on our YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss a tip, trick, or important update. And as always, have a great day.